What's up guys, welcome back to the house today. It's me, Packy, and we're recreating some of the PBA's toughest trick shots and most memorable, starting with this one. Where you make the 10 pin, just a solid 10 pin make. So we're gonna start off today's video with the legendary towel shot. Uh, I've seen it performed by Norm Duke, who I believe made it famous. I'm gonna try and repeat it today. This is gonna take 600 tries to strike. A little bit of hook, maybe. I gotta get it to hook a little more. He makes it hook a little bit, I gotta get it to hook a little bit. Can you strike in your first 10 shots? In my first 10 shots? Yeah, absolutely. It's tough when you're doing these trick shots and you get tapped. I thought that was money. A little too high flush, I gotta make an adjustment. Towel change instead of a ball change? Imagine, what a move, <laughs> what a move. You said it was gonna take me 10 tries, it took me like three. And about 45 warm up shots, but we don't talk about those. Towel shot, check. What's next? So I used to love watching these like PBA trick shot TV shows growing up. Um, I know some of you probably have seen them. And if you guys have an idea for a trick shot that I didn't do in this video, please comment down below and let me know some of your crazy ideas. What's up guys? Quick little break in the action here. Today's video is sponsored by Element, which is a zero sugar electrolyte drink mix. This is gonna help me stay hydrated, avoid cramps and fatigue all the way throughout those 60 game tournaments that we bowl throughout the season. One of the reasons I love Element is because unlike some other sports drinks that have sugar, this has none, which means during competition, I might be able to avoid some of those competition jitters. So Element has a proven ratio of sodium, magnesium, and potassium that keeps me healthy on the road when I'm traveling all those miles. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packs free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash house. This deal is only available through my link at D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash house. Included in the sample pack, you get one of every single flavor that they make, and that includes my personal favorite, which is gonna be the raspberry salt. I'm super glad that I rejuvenated this morning with Element because this next trick shot is probably the most physically demanding. Next up, we're gonna loft the ball over a chair, made famous by Oscu Palermo. Dude, I don't know, Peck, those are pretty nice chairs. I mean, we've all seen like Osku throw it over the bar stool. I feel like I could clear this chair, but. You're not Osku. I'm absolutely not Osku. So four boxes equals one chair. How far out do you think I could loft this? This better happen in like five or six shots because it is tiring trying to launch this ball over. Thank God I'm hydrated with element. Yeah. I just warmed up and I didn't hit it once. First shot. Glad we didn't use the chair. This might take an hour and a half. It might take an hour and a half for me just to strike normally anyway. Oh. I just wanna strike. I just wanna get this shot over with. So on that one I was kinda like, I was lining up, I stood on 25 and I looked straight at the center of the top box and I just said, get over the top. Yeah. Does a Brooklyn count? Are we gonna count a Brooklyn if I do this? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay, okay. I'm more focused on clearing the boxes than I am about throwing a good shot. I'll give myself like six or seven shots. 
If I feel like I'm close after six, I might give myself eight shots, but we're two shots deep. I don't want to go like hurting myself. We have the PBA Tour Finals this, uh, this upcoming weekend. We also have our, our fans to appease. So what's more important? Probably the fans. I just need to get lucky once. Just once. I'm making a simple two and zero here. Actually, I can't move because the boxes are in the middle. I wouldn't be lofting it over the boxes. I'd be cheating my fans. <laughs> yeah! I mean, you said Brooklyn's count. Brooklyn's count. Brooklyn's count. Trick shot number two. Check. This is the uh, 10 minute setup on the hardest trick shot of the video, the Flying Eagle. Also probably the most well-known, made famous by Chris Barnes. Done by, I've heard and been told, countless others. I would watch out for that camera. Yay! That's a good old fashioned nun. Good news is it was on first ball, so I get a second attempt then before having to go down there, turn the machines off, set the 10 pin up, do it again. I think I can hit more of that pin than I think. I'm worried about it getting over to the seven, but I don't think I gotta worry about that. So usually I look down lane at my target. So I'm just gonna look down lane at that pin like I tell every bowler not to. I, I, gotta, I gotta hit at least one. Wah, wah, wah. Disappointing. about here. All right, now let's hit the one on the front. Literally. If I don't hit this pin, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> my balls, my balls hooking a little bit? Like I gotta factor that in. Yeah, hook's good. Oh, you didn't turn it back on. Son of a biscuit. Forgot to turn the lane on. For the viewers. Do it for the subscribers, not the viewers. Because if you're viewing and not subscribed, what are you doing? Attempt number three. How many do you think this is going to take? Three. I bet it takes four. Oh, this is three? Four. Yeah, I bet it takes three. I hit the one in front. <laughs> I did it again. Yes, yes I am sweating. Well, at least I know I can be done because I hit like the middle of the pin and I still, I still hit the 10 pin, so. That's a make. Supposed to hit that first pin? Somehow, somehow, someway, I'm supposed to hit all three of them. I still don't know how. Paul only has to hit two pins. I hit two pins last time. All I heard you say was, Packy Hanrahan is more talented than Chris Barnes. <laughs> That was all I got from that speech. <laughs> Money. <laughs> ah, that was a funny one. Dang. I said, turn the lane back on when you're done. Turn the, turn the lane on. <laughs> I still, you know. It doesn't feel like it should be this hard. The most challenging part, and I actually watched Chris Barnes do this too, the ball hooks before the pin. So you have to throw it like at the middle of the pin and then it hooks back to the right side. Really, you're supposed to be lined up for a strike shot if you're using that. What? Yeah. Okay, say less. That would have struck. The heart, the heart. I think I'm just gonna set the pin up further to the right. I was putting it on like seven. I think I'm gonna put it on like 10. This is going to work. This is my time. This is the one. First try. Oh, 
if there's a fire alarm right here, I'd just rip it. Hey, we can work with that. I could work with that. That's. I am the flying eagle. Insert eagle sound effect. Insert me making this on this attempt. Specifically, this attempt. I am the flying eagle. I am the flying eagle. I feel like I could make it a hundred times in a row. Let's go! I've never been more hyped in my life. Should I go for it again, two in a row? Yes. Okay, all right. Run it back. I think I am the flying eagle. Wow. That was close though. I feel like I feel like I could have a career highlight clip of me making this. <laughs> now that I got it, I got it. I bet I could even make this with a backup ball. I'm gonna try it one more time with a backup ball and then I'm done with this one. I was one for one on the regular version of the Flying Eagle. And to become the Flying Eagle, I need to do it backup. Not that good. We'll save that one when we get the bald eagle in here, AKA Brad Miller. He'll have to make a trip down and we'll, we'll flying eagle off. 